My name is David Miller, and I'm the uh, fortunate occupant of a research uh, uh, chair at Carleton University in Ottawa. Um, and I'm from New Brunswick. Uh, and uh, about 25 years ago, I, I got interested in, uh, in, in uh, for academic reasons, and whether there were fungi that lived in needles that affected the populations of the insects that eat uh, um, trees, like uh, the spruce budworm. Um, we discovered that there was something, a question that should be asked about this, that these natural populations did exist that affected the Bruce Budworm and the Acadian forest. And to pursue it, I needed um, uh, seedlings of white spruce that, that were in a, in a breeding program. Um, and when I needed a private company to give me something I couldn't get anywhere else, J.D. Irving was able to supply it. And all of the work that we've done for the past 10 years, it's um, actually 13 years since I started to work with JDI in a series of projects, has been uh, in partnership with the Canadian government. And that's a long commitment, uh, as is the case for anything that you work on trees. So a forest ecology like uh, the Acadian forest is, is a complicated mixture of different species of animals, uh, birds, uh, insects that all play a role, including the spruce budworm. You know, spruce budworm is, is, is bird food. So we don't really want to, to get rid of the spruce budworm. And the natural forest doesn't do that. So the, the endophytes that exist in nature and that when we inoculate them, give the tree um, uh, more chance to survive a budworm epidemic. Uh, by uh, slowing the growth of the insect down, by exposing it to more time for birds and pests to get at it, and natural diseases, bacteria, and viruses, and produce fewer eggs so that the tree can survive little epidemics. And so the way I usually like to say this is that trees are lousy at defending themselves from insects compared to flowering plants. So what they have to do is outlive, outplay, and outlast. They, they have to be a, just a little bit more tolerant to survive a little epidemic or some gnawing on their needles and then grow forward.